Hey, what's up guys? Seth Ashworth here, just coming at you with another kayaking tutorial this week. Um, a couple of weeks ago, somebody slid into my Instagram DMs uh, with a great idea for a video that I thought would be a fun one to do and a fun one to share, because uh, it seemed like it would be a useful one. Uh, and the question was, could I make a video on how to improve confidence whilst upside down, whilst in white water, whilst rolling, um, and especially like white water confidence. And this is super interesting to me because it seems like pretty straightforward, but I know it's something that a lot of people struggle with. Uh, but the answer is actually pretty simple. If you're not confident while you're upside down, really all it stems back to is the fact that you are not confident doing your roll, and that means rolling back up every time. And I can, I can already hear you on your side of the computer being like, I can roll just fine, what are you talking about? But the, the reality of it is, if you could roll just fine, you wouldn't have any problems being upside down, right? So the, the root cause of the, the lack of confidence whilst being upside down is most likely that you're not 100% sure you're gonna make it right back up. And that's okay. Um, all that means is we just have to do a few simple basic drills and a few simple things to think about that are gonna help us improve our role, improve our technique, and make it a lot easier for us to be more confident with our role and with being upside down in general, right? Now, pretty much to have to take it back to basics here. Um, if you learn to roll in a pool, when you learn to roll like in the river that first time, it's darker, it's colder, maybe the water's moving all around you. It is a very different experience. You have to be ready for that. You have to be training for that. If you've been practicing your roll a certain way, it doesn't mean that certain way you've been practicing is gonna be exactly useful for you and there's almost a million different ways you can end up upside down. What we need to do with our role is just keep in mind that it has to have that simple step-by-step -step process that we can always come back to so we can always roll up every single time. If you're one of those people who's learned to roll in a pool and every time you say, hey, I'm gonna do a roll, you go like this, and then you slowly go upside down, probably when you're in the rapids, that doesn't happen to you, or at least it doesn't happen to me. And so what I always try and encourage people to do when I'm trying to help them improve their whitewater confidence and especially their rolling confidence is stop practicing your roll where you start above the water like this. Like this is a great way to start your roll practice when you're learning to roll but it's not gonna help you down the line. It's actually not helping you improve for that further on stage, right? Like I can't think of any time in my whole whitewater career where I've been paddling down a rapid and then I've been in this position and then I've ended up upside down, right? It pretty much never happens like that. So there's, although that's a good way to start, we need to train the same way we're gonna be on the, in the real thing, right? So even if you're in a pool, you can still do a few simple roll practice drills and make a few simple changes to your roll practice that are gonna make it a lot more realistic and you can be a lot more ready to be upside down in all these different positions. In a second, I'm gonna cut ahead and I'm gonna show you a few different drills I really like to use um, when I'm helping to teach people to improve their confidence in being upside down and improve just their general rolling ability level, uh, because that's really the root cause of the problem. And the, the better we can do at having a really strong roll, not just from this position, but starting from back here and starting with one hand off your paddle and being really ready to be able to roll up in any situation and know 100% as soon as you go upside down, you are gonna be able to get back up. It's gonna make a huge difference for you down the line, um, just that by doing these few simple practice steps. First drill is very simply put your paddle on your lap, go upside down, calmly go to the setup position and roll back up. Just the act of going from a position that's not starting in that setup position and then moving to it will be very, very valuable to you. The level up from that is not very hard. Just put your paddle on your head, go upside down, stay relaxed, calmly and slowly move your way into that roll up position then nice and slowly with strong hips roll back up the more advanced version is this pretzel armed position where you twist your arms and then from upside down have to kind of untwist and unwind yourself and slowly fit yourself back into that setup position to roll up and finally one hand on the paddle figure out where your paddle is slowly get yourself back to that roll. The goal here to stay unpanicked. 
In addition to these practice roles, I really highly do recommend uh, more people spend more time freestyle kayaking. Freestyle kayaking, especially when you are learning to do tricks, um, almost inevitably means you're upside down quite a lot. And that means you get to roll quite a lot from a lot of different positions. And I really cannot stress how useful that is down the line when you're like trying to run bigger rapids, run harder rivers. Being able to know that you can surf your way out of danger and that you have good boat body awareness even when you're upside down and just have clocked in a lot of miles, a lot of rolls, that's huge. The, the benefit to it like is is crazy and, I, and there's a lot of people I've met, uh, maybe recently this has like been more popular in the last couple of years, who don't they don't want to freestyle kayak at all. They've got maybe a slicey boat or just a creek boat and they like going down rivers and that's a lot of fun, but they're not interested in surfing the waves and doing the tricks. And learning to do those not only builds boat control, not only builds body control, not only builds better spatial awareness, but it forces you to roll really, really a lot. And that's super valuable to us um, for improving our roll confidence and our underwater confidence and just being ready for anything right so I really do highly recommend in addition to those drills that we showed uh, I would love to, to get more people kind of doing some freestyle kayaking you don't have to be trying to win all the competitions but being able to front surf back surf side surf uh, maybe spin a 360 some other stuff like that it's really gonna help you a lot and it's gonna force you into these positions where you get upside down and that's gonna force you to roll up a lot and that mileage is really gonna help you. It's gonna be exponentially more helpful down the line. Okay, so hopefully uh, these few tips here of uh, use these, these drills and be creative with them, right? Like you don't just have to use the ones I've showed you. If you, can, if you can dream it, you should try it, right? And it doesn't have to be like in the rapids. It can be like where I am here and just in a deep part of the river, like upstream of any of the rapids, nothing crazy, but it's dark and it's cold or colder. Uh, than a swimming pool so I'm not I don't have that like nice luxury that I did when I started I don't have that like ooh, it's warm and the warm waters all around me I have to be ready um, you know that like cold shock is still there it's still gonna get my brain going and get me thinking and that's really what I'm looking for right is to always be training for how I want it to be in real life and every time we're practicing something you should be practicing it as if that's how it's gonna happen in real life. So always practice your best forward stroke, always your best bracing, always your best rolling, always looking where you wanna go, right? These simple foundational building blocks. And the better you are at those simple things, the easier it is to do harder stuff down the line. And if you don't have complete mastery of those simple skills, your progress is gonna be slow, much slower than you'd like. Okay, hopefully this, whoa. Hopefully this video has been useful for you and I will see you next Monday. Oh, and don't forget, like if you have an idea for a video, like lots of people send them to me all the time and I keep them in a list. So uh, I'm working on them. I'm working my way through them. If you have a great idea or something that I haven't covered that you'd love to see, send me an Instagram DM. Uh, th there's my, it should be on the screen somewhere uh, in front of you. Send me an Instagram DM, send me a Facebook message. I would love to hear from you. Uh, I love interacting with people who want to get something out of my videos that I haven't given them already. Uh, yeah. I appreciate you all. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for tuning in. See you next week. Peace.